this CAD clip will show you one of the uh, new features that is available in Revit 2013 which is super cool um, and if you've ever um, been challenged with trying to create kind of a depressed sloping uh, balcony uh, with a um, a floor. It can be rather challenging and I've tried different ways using um, points and and uh, using the um, subcomponent aspects and all of this stuff in here and it's really hard even using the shape editing tools to get exactly what you want which is really like a like a wedge and that might apply here or it could you know apply next door where you know it happens to be just square so uh, I, we've got a new family over here I've got it loaded under generic model category wedge void family and this is my family here so I'm just gonna start by dragging it in here onto my second floor and as I place it in I'm going to say place on face click not on vertical face and then from there I'm going to actually place it right out in the middle on purpose. Click. So it's going to um, place that in there and you're going to see what happens over there. So I'm just going to use my arrow key because I have it selected and I'm going to uh, oh I have to hit escape first and then I'll use my arrow key to move it over. No, nope. escape one more time. Pick on there and nudge it over. You can see it moving in the um, 3D view over here when it just stops and so all it is is kind of a, a big wedge and then I can take it using my shift arrow key I just want to move it out into the middle here okay so you can kind of see basically what that is and it just removes some material and we've got some instance parameters on there so you can kind of stretch and use your align tools to align it so what all you have to do from there once you get it in um, you can pick on it and you can use your space bar to rotate it around if you want okay just like most um, families and then you can go to a plan view only in a plan view can you um, use the uh, you can click on here and you can grab these and pick and drag them to this point or you can use your align tool and say oh no, I don't need to save my project align to here this edge align to here watch what happens over in the right in the 3d view you'll start to see what I'm talking about pick on here pick over there click out escape escape so now we have our little wedge and what you can do now is you can pick on here and you've got some parameters you can change the width of it and the length of it but the one that you might want to play with is this one I've exaggerated it at two inches we could go up to you know probably four inches just to see the effect of what happens when you click on there so that means it's gonna have a four inch drop now that would be drastic but that just kind of shows you a little bit of you know what happens with that um, I'm gonna hover over here again and pick and generally it's about one inch so 25 millimeters or so so I'll set it back to be an inch pick out and that's about what it really is and trying to achieve this little wedge in here is amazingly tricky so this is a great family that uh, we teach at CAD clips how to do so from there we could take this and then copy and paste it around it's just a family right so if I've got one over here I can actually grab on this and say okay you know copy then I can just pick on this corner and then copy it over to there and then click over here and zoom out a little bit and then I can see I've got one there too okay now I can copy and paste those up so I can click over here using my control button grab both of these guys and then I can go up and hit my copy button and then I can paste in a couple of different ways but I can just say align to selected levels and then pick my level 3 boom it's gonna copy and paste those up to there now the last thing I have to do is um, realign these to this work plane watch pick out they're, they're there but they're not doing their thing so what I have to do is pick on here pick here and then I have to say um, edit work plane in fact I can do both at the same time and say pick a plane hit OK and then hover over the top of the slab and pick on there and then it'll remove itself and I could have done them both at the same time pick on here edit the work plane pick a plane hit OK 
pick on here click out and you can do more, more than one level at a time so there's a nice um, little uh, family that we can do in Revit 2013 um, architecture structure or MEP so um, we like that family it saves us a lot of time and actually does exactly what we want and the last thing we probably want to do is uh, a little section through here to show our detail which is really what it's all about so let's go up and just grab our section tool draw a little section in there do we want to see as far as the column uh, why not double click opens up that view and we'll zoom in on that little detail there it is right there type SD okay and there is that little one inch wedge that's right there so let's let's maybe change that a little bit let's pick on there and let's change the depth to be you know uh, let's make it three inches just to make it more drastic pick out there it is click over here uh, oh I'm looking at the wrong one probably there it is there because they are instance parameters so there's my change and there's my wonderful detail right there, so that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm.